Hey everybody, it's a windy day here in Texas today. We have a cold front coming, so every time we have a cold front come, we get a big south wind come through. Then everything will change and blow from the north. So it gets a little wild and woolly around here with these cold fronts coming in. But uh, I just picked this tub of uh, radishes that was in this tub. And uh, got, got some pretty good ones out of there. What do y'all think? Whole bag full. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get all the radishes out of this tub so I can plant some more spinach. And I'm gonna put a little fertilizer in there. Break the soil up a little bit. So I am no scientist about gardening. All I know is fertilize, put it in the dirt, and water it. Uh, I got some 13, 13, 13. It's all we can buy in this town. It's all I can find. I'm just adding a, about a I don't even know what size this is. A quarter, half a cup. Half a cup of 1313. Mixing it in real good. I got some spinach I'm going to plant. I was in town yesterday and bought some spinach. This is Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. I'm going to give that a try. Y'all seen me plant before the way I plant in these tubs. I'll plant right here in the center. So I'll know where I planted everything. And I'll just pull me a, a few seeds in my hand. Sprinkle it out. And cover it up. And when it gets tall enough, I'll go ahead and just transplant them around here. So, that's one thing. I had some small turn, uh, radishes. <clears throat> I'm going I'm to transplant real quick. Back over in this tub. They hadn't done nothing yet. get them put back in here now this wind is terrible hope my mic ain't picking it up even though I have a wind guard on it it still might pick it up since it's real windy Let's see, here's one more. Oop, there's another one. Any more, guys? Oh, well. Got that planted. We're gonna walk over here. 
and do some more planting. I guess I should say I harvested, not picked. <laughs> This is where I had the tomatoes planted. All kinds of little tomatoes still down in there. I guess they'll come up springtime. I don't know. That other plant I had in here was volunteer plant. Just had to wait and see. Some fertilizer in this one. Got another one right next to it. I'm gonna put fertilizer in. I'm gonna have to go to town and get some more. I'm by it out. I'm gonna put some fertilizer over here in this one. Mix it in. Try to get these tomatoes out. Man, if I grow these patio tomatoes again, I'm going to put a tub where I can just string it up in the ceiling. It just grows wild. It gets crazy. I tried, I tried that trellis made out of the hog, hog wire but that didn't work okay what's next on the list I know what I want to put in this one I found some seeds yesterday it's bok choy cabbage I'm going to try some of that. Never grown any, but first time for everything. That ought to be good. And it says so in winter or spring, so it's winter time, so we'll give it a so. That's a little bitty seeds. I gotta try to get them back in the packet. A lot of seeds in that packet. I'll probably put some in that sherry seed deal. Yeah, well, let's move to the next tub. I just put the fertilizer in here, so I'm going to mix it up real good. What are we doing next? Butter crunch lettuce.
weird looking seeds. Well, guess that's all I'm going to plant today. I'm going to water that up and uh, hopefully it grows. <laughs> it should. Shouldn't have no problem. It's all winter plant, so it should grow great. Well, y'all stay tuned for more videos in this high tunnel. Hopefully it stands with the storms coming. Just have to wait and see. But it protects the plants from the high winds that we get too, so I'm glad I put it up. I just have to figure out something this spring before summer gets here, how to uh, get the plastic on it. I think I'm gonna take some of that clear poly urethane plastic or, and put over this thing and try to tie it down the best I can. It, it seems like it's, it's stronger than this old green stuff. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you in the garden again here pretty soon after the cold front passes. It's supposed to be in the 30s. That's cold for me. And I don't come out in the 30s. <laughs> hey, we love y'all. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, hit that like button wherever it is down there. Hit that like button and ring that dingle bell as Paragon Red Wretch puts it. Ring the dingle bell, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Love you. Bye.